Bowl eligible just two years ago. Old Dominion qualified for its first ever bowl game this season, and you couldn't pick a better location than the Bahamas Bowl. Old Dominion against Eastern Michigan. Hi, everybody. I'm Bruce Rader. You know, yesterday morning, the Old Dominion football team began its day in Chile, Norfolk, and tonight they are on the shores of Nassau, and it is a beach party. It's not all fun and games when you're playing in a bowl game. The Old Dominion football team began their Bahamas Bowl experience last night enjoying a moonlit dinner with their football foes from Eastern Michigan. Players from both teams roamed the vast Atlantis resort well past midnight, but were up bright and early this morning for their first practice session of the week. It was great. We went for 90 minutes. Uh, we went hard. Everything was fast. Everything was constant movement. It broke the practice up into four segments, first quarter, second, third, and fourth. We need to get acclimated to the 80 degrees and the 75% humidity, and we accomplished that this morning. Today, the Monarchs concentrated on their defense, which had been struggling but seems to have found its way. We're trying to be a championship team. I said that one loss to Western Kentucky opened our eyes. Like, you know, no one's safe in this league. So we got to make sure that never happened again. Losing like that made us feel like, okay, no slacking in practice, no joking around in practice, time to work. I said we could play any other time, but when it's time to work, we got to work. You know, and our guys have been around the system now for a couple of years, and, and they understand the ins and outs of it a little bit better. We all came together and just said, all right, we're just going to do our job, and everybody focused on their 111, and then our defense just completely changed. Right. So what's the plan between now and kickoff Friday afternoon? We have a practice two days before the game. That's a no set, uh, no sweat practice. It's all about mental prep. And then the day before the game, we'll do two minute drill. We'll do chaotic end of half, end of game situations with special teams. The focus in the morning will remain on football in the afternoon. It'll be all about them having the time of their life. And they are having a beach party right now here in Nassau with the two teams having a great time. And we will continue our Bahamas Bowl coverage all week long up until Friday afternoon's game on ESPN.